we're asked to determine the limit of the rational function as x approaches 3. We're going to evaluate the limit of a rational function by performing direct substitution as long as the function doesn't have discontinuity at the value x is approaching. So to begin, let's see what happens when we perform direct substitution. Notice when substituting 3 for x, the calculator shows undefined. If we look at the numerator and denominator separately, we have the indeterminate form of 0 divided by 0. This does not mean the limit doesn't exist. We can often simplify a rational function so that we can then determine the limit by performing direct substitution. So let's begin by factoring the numerator and denominator of the given rational function. To begin, notice x cubed minus 27 is a difference of cubes. To apply the formula below, it can be helpful to think of x cubed as x raised to the third power minus 27 as 3 to the third power, which means for the formula, a is equal to x and b is equal to 3. So in factored form, we'll have a binomial and a trinomial. The binomial is a minus b, which in our case will be x minus 3. In the trinomial, the first term is a squared. Well, if a is x, a squared is x squared. And then we have plus a times b, which will be x times 3 or 3x and then plus b squared, if b is 3, b squared is 3 times 3 or 9. So now we have the numerator factored, let's factor the denominator. Well, we should recognize x squared minus 9 is a difference of squares. We will have two binomial factors, where one binomial factor is x plus 3, and the other is x minus 3. So let's write the limit in factored form. We have the limit of the irrational function where in the numerator we have a factor of x minus 3 and a factor of x squared plus 3x plus 9. In the denominator we have a factor of x plus 3 and a factor of x minus 3 as x approaches 3. Now looking at the factored form, notice how we have a common factor of x minus 3 between the numerator and denominator. Graphically this represents a hole in the graph but remember a hole in a graph does not affect a limit, and therefore we can simplify here and use a simplified rational function to determine the limit. The original limit is equal to the limit of the quantity x squared plus 3x plus 9 divided by the quantity x plus 3 as x approaches 3. Again, now we no longer have discontinuity to x equals 3, and we can determine the limit by performing direct substitution. Substituting 3 for x, we have the square of 3 plus 3 times 3 plus 9 all over 3 plus 3. Simplifying, in the numerator we have 9 plus 9 plus 9, which is 27. In the denominator we have 6. 27 and 6 share a common factor of 3. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 6 divided by 3 is 2. The limit is equal to 9 halves, or 4.5. I hope you found this helpful.